Now, let's uh, take you to space now. Cassini, the American Space Agency's probe, has begun the final phase of its mission to Saturn. The satellite has been on its journey for two decades, but has now begun a series of ultra-close passes through the planet's upper atmosphere. Scientists know they are taking a risk, but they're hoping it will reveal more about the chemical makeup and inst internal structure of the planet. Well, we can talk to the space journalist and author, Sarah Crudders. Hello, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. I like uh, being in the dark no, here in with space. you. It feels <laughs> like it, doesn't it? I mean, how, what, do you, what are you hoping for from this mission? Well, I think the mission's just been incredible anyhow, and just a slight tangent, one of the best things to actually come from this mission, as always with going into space, is not all the science that we're doing in space, but it's the simply looking back at Earth, the Cassini spacecraft, it spent 20 years on its journey to Saturn, took this picture of Saturn's rings, and just in the distance there was this tiny pale blue dot, and that dot is us and everything we know exists on that tiny pale blue dot. So in terms of art, there's a huge amount of times. In terms of science, it's just been a game changer. Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, but think of it more of a mini solar system in its own way. So Saturn has the rings around it. We don't quite know why those rings work. It's got at least 60 moons and some other moons that we haven't yet identified. So it's really a world to itself. And since this mission actually launched, we've discovered that two of the moons, um, Titan and Enceladus, might even have conditions which might mean there's life within those moons, so within our own solar system. So it's really game-changing stuff. Now we're coming into the final part of the mission, which is to do something that no spacecraft has done before. And often with science, and certainly with space, we assume we know so much because we've been going to space for more than 50 years now, but actually we know so little. We've never been this close to Saturn and it's a feat of engineering to actually use the gravity from Saturn's largest moon to slingshot this spacecraft which is at 20 years old to nearly um, just to the cloud tops around the gas planet. That's extraordinary. Sarah Crudders, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And thank you for your company today. BBC Newsroom Live is coming up next. I will see you same time tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.